Hey everyone, I have hoped you've had a great week and are prepared for another wonderful week. Uh, you know, we've had our ups and downs. I've been kind of keeping Pat um, track on everybody's posts that they've been making, their logs, blogs they make, pictures that are posted. Uh, I hope you <laughs> took time to take a look at the video that I posted about the 45 minute hike that I took through. Uh, Historic Fort Creek Corps introduced a little bit of the area that I live in. A um, couple things that I've mentioned throughout the week, something I'm just going to throw in this video is that uh, I really like the fact that I'm just bursting with energy. Before the start of this Lipo 6 challenge, I was drinking an energy drink in the morning just to, you know, get my day going and then I was, you know, drinking water, tea, juice, milk, throughout the day. But since this Lipo 6 challenge has started, I haven't touched soda or energy drinks whatsoever, and I had just feel the energy, with the exception of the days that I have to go into work at 4 a.m. I mentioned this in my blog on Saturday, that uh, the days that I have to go in early, even though I follow pretty much the same plan, by the time I get home from work and it's time to lift weights or time to uh, do my cardio, I am just like drained. I'm not sure if there's something that I should be doing that might augment that, but I'm really not doing much different than what I am doing the rest of the week. Uh, so that's just something that I've noticed differently about myself. Um, when it comes to any other day though, it's amazing. I get up about 6 o'clock in the morning, take my first supplement, half hour later I drink a protein shake, then anywhere from a half hour to an hour later I do my cardio or I lift my weights. When I finish that protein bar, that generally is my breakfast, then I take my daughter, go out, get some stuff done, come back eat myself a meal on my way to work. Right before I get to work, I will drink a protein shake. My first break, protein bar. Uh, then I have my lunch, which I've posted a couple pictures. And I really haven't deviated too much from that, except for one day I took the chicken and put uh, three and a half cups of spinach in a wrap, which by the way, the wrap was that big. I mean, it was really big. Uh, okay, I may be over exaggerating, but it was still, it was a mouthful. And I hate, if you catch me laughing, it's because my wife is standing behind the camera and she's doing everything she can to make me laugh. And I promise you, in one of these videos, I want to bring her out here. <laughs> but anyway, the, uh, you know, but the raps were amazing. And I'm starting to notice that with the Lipo 6, my appetite's not as crazy. Which brings me to my next point. When I do my days where I lift my weights, when I, even though I'm only doing about 30 minutes of late, uh, weightlifting, um, yeah, I take my protein bar, and then not even an hour later, I am just like starving. And I just want to eat everything in sight. Um, but, you know, I don't know if it's something to do with my weightlifting or if I should go ahead and try to go ahead and eat a full meal after I lift weights, just to the fact that it'll help keep me from being so hungry. Uh, because I know that the couple days I just, I couldn't stop, you know, looking for snacks. Which, uh, one day I found a really good way to supplement my snacks by using uh, a little bit of grapeseed oil with some popcorn, making my own popcorn on the stove add a, a dash of garlic in there, by the way I love garlic, and a little side note for garlic, it's healthy for you, it's good, it's good for your blood system, and if you live in an area inundated with mosquitoes, uh, I've also heard that if you eat enough garlic, mosquitoes don't like to drink blood that is full of garlic, supposedly that's where the myth of the vampires came from, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm starting to ramble now, uh, I, I 
got my measurements in today and they should appear somewhere above my finger on the screen. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but I did see the ones I can't remember. A uh, two and a half inch drop in my chest, a one inch drop on my waist, a two inch drop on my hips, a half inch on my thigh, and came with the startling realization that my bicep or upper arm is the same circumference as my neck and my wife even tried strangling me when measuring my neck today but uh, she couldn't go through with it but anyway I hope that everyone else has had a great week I hope that uh, the encouragements there I hope that uh, everything that you know you're doing lifting up you know even if you have to you know you mess up on a meal you mess up on a day workout you just pick yourself up and try again. Uh, best way I can relate this is with a saying that I once heard. And it said, you try, you fail. You try, you fail. The only time that you truly fail is when you stop trying. So that'll be all for me today. Keep your head up. Eyes on the prize. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.